Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We're jumping in again as good old Piggy, as I said I would. Let's is, let us jump in and see what we can get done as this guy. This guy is the king of the shop, the purchasing master, and we will see what we can purchase. We will see what we can purchase. Oh, I'm hot and fresh off of just a kind of annoying day. Like, it wasn't that hard, but... I have interviewed so many people today. Like, only phone interviews. It wasn't exactly, like, super difficult interviews. But there were, there was, like, eight interviews. Like, all one hour after each other. Or, like, 20 minutes long-ish. Or longer. And, oh my god. It's just been tiring. Um, and I've got, like, a lot more. I've only got three tomorrow. But then I've got, like, another eight the next day. And then I've got six the day after that. Oh my god. It's just... It's, it's a little... It's a little annoying is all. It's a little annoying. Okay, just remember we don't need keys as this guy. We just need money. Money is everything. Uh, just, just gotta watch out for the grab bags. Try and get that money whenever we can. Perp. Perp and prayer we can. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, so that's been a bit annoying. In, in between those gaps that I've been uh, I've been playing a bit of Baldur's Gear. Um, because I am in love with that game at the moment. My god, it's just... It's just so good. Like, so I played through it. Like I said, I played through it. I played through the first act when the game first came out. And then I didn't touch it for a good few months because my PC just wasn't up to scratch. It wasn't playing the game very well and I was crashing and stuff like that. So I basically just put it down for a while because I knew I was going to get a new PC within a few months. So I was like, I'll just put it down until I get a new PC. Hold off for a bit. And I'm, I decided I'm going to play with mods because you know me. I love mods. And some people may think it's blasphemous to not finish the game before playing with mods, but I don't care. Um, and anyways, I'm playing through the first act again, and my god, I like, I, I like missed everything. Like, in my first playthrough, I, I played through it, um, ooh, oh, no way, okay, wait, that's, that's gotta be Junkin, right? Okay, it is good, okay. 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 Nice. Junkin off the bat's pretty interesting. I've not had Junkin in quite some time. Being sold him is uh is pretty lovely. Um and yeah, like I, I I just like fought one of the major like story bosses of the first act and like went through this whole storyline to get there. That somehow I just completely and utterly missed in my first playthrough. And it's not even like I missed it as in like, oh I, I sort of understandably made a choice that, that diverted my path. I don't even know how I missed it. Like, I can't fathom how I missed it. It seems like I literally just decided to walk the other way when presented with very obvious information. That's the only way I can fathom that would have happened. Also, where on earth are my money sacks? So far, I have yet to see a single one, and I'm really hoping to gain more money. There's one, finally. There's one. Right. I am, I am buying up everything that this lady is um, is selling me. Greg the Egg's 46. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll grab we'll grab Greg the Egg. He's he's a good he's a good chap. He's a good chap. Oh, you've Why? I think it's because I have no keys. I think having keys makes you more likely to drop stuff. Uh like junk. I can't remember if it's for having more keys or having less keys that makes it more likely now, to be honest. I might I might have got that the wrong way around. There you go. My helmet boy. Do I remember if I get hit, I'm pretty sure I do uh, I do lose some money as this guy, so... Looks like I'm probably not going to be able to buy Potter or whatever that other one was called. Oh, no, 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 armor. Give me... Ay, 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 Don't think so, buddy. But I am... I want to go full familiar uh, this run, so... Grabbing... Honestly, as well, considering the shotgun is so good on this character... Like, I don't even mind not getting a weapon early on. Right, just make sure we grab the bags if we see them. I doubt we're going to see any more. I don't think there's a quota pair floor. Hey, we did get a key, though, which gives us some money. In fact, that gives us very nearly enough to buy Potter. And I don't know what Potter does, but I imagine he spreads fire and other elements, which sounds dangerous, but also fun. So, I want him. I can't remember how much we needed now. Oh, there's a sack. I want that sack. 
Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay, Potter, you are becoming ours. You have found a home. What a great, great woman you are. What a beautiful woman you are. We, we, the, the whole gang's here. The whole gang's here. Now, unfortunately at the minute my hair is really bothering me for some reason. Not that it's like ever bothered me ever, it just seems to be a passive thing of recording videos. I don't actually know what Potter does. You know what? Greg the Egg gives me stuff. What does Potter actually do? Occasionally pops out money on room clear and hides some other secrets. I mean, to be fair, money on room clear, it kind of it kind of fits the trend of this man pretty well. So don't mind if I diddly do. I paid money for you as well, so it's only fair that you return to me the money that you gave. That I gave for you, should I say. There you go, we got him. We got him. Beautiful. And we get this, which is not bad as a weapon. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And then what we got going on for our shop. I never remember exactly how this active works. Okay, yeah, I can just pay some money to re-roll the shop. Obviously, in this scenario, not a very valuable thing to do. Um, right. Down we go. Probably could have spent our money on going to one of the alt floors there, to be honest, to get more junk, but I have missed out on said opportunity because I am stupid. I didn't even think about the uh, the opportunity for extra junk, and it's only 20 per key. I think I would have had enough if I hadn't re-rolled. I don't know how much money I was on there. I, I was... I can't remember if I was above, if, above 40. I might not have even been above 40, to be fair, so I might be talking out my ass. Right, we really don't want to be far away from, from geezers here, because uh, we want to be able to collect the sacks as and when they uh, provide themselves to us. I'm kind of hoping, with the uh, influx of new NPCs that have been added via, via the mods, that um, we see more and more of them like we did on the first floor. Because it seems to be, the past few runs I've done, it, it seems like almost guaranteed to find one on the first floor nowadays. I don't know if that's the case, but it seems super likely that I'm getting one on the first floor. Um, so it'd be interesting to uh, see if we get any more NPCs that we can buy from. Because really, they're, they're the places where we're going to be able to spend the most money. I also do like the fact that the NPC shop is half price. Like, I know that obviously it makes it a bit strong when you've got a good amount of money, like on a character like this. But I am pretty happy with the fact that um, the NPC shop on the first floor is half price. Because so often do you get one of the NPC shops in the vanilla game on the first floor and it's like, that'll be one million dollars. And it's like, there's just no way you're going to afford it. Um, unfortunately, not a, not a right lot of good there. Oh, no. Um... I don't know how to do this without being hit. I, I really don't. Okay. That was good enough. I was a little perplexed by the uh, the look of that room there. So I'm, I'm glad I managed to make it out alive. I just want more junk to fuel my friend. That's all I want. No more sacks thus far, but our money is in a good spot right now, so let's not worry about that too much. Good. good. Okay. Slip on through here real quick. I can't remember how much money you end up losing on being hit. I don't remember. Maybe they turned down the sack spawn since I last played this guy, because I swear they used to be, like, everywhere. And I'm getting, like, none right now. Push things into the pits. It's the best and only way to deal with these freaks. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Holy ghost, no thank you. Do you know what I was doing recently? Oh, Pot Fairy! Okay, that's pretty cool. Every now and again, he can spawn a Pot Fairy. That's... I like that. That's that's pretty interesting. 
do, don't do, I said, don't you dare give me anything other than junk. Good. Um, yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty cool thing to to add to the pot, dude. Ooh, we got um a mirror room over here, which is cursed for a chest, which is kind of interesting because we can't junk the chest. I don't believe there's any way for us to junk the chest, which is kind of sad. Pot fairy once again. They seem a little bit common. I don't know. We have two in a row. Maybe we just got super lucky. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, unfortunately we can't cheese this, and unfortunately we get a gun that I, I really couldn't care less about. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but on controller it's a bit awkward, because you've got a reload and aim at the same time. On controller that really don't work too well. Forget I've got this as well. Maybe use this a little more often. Get more money there, lovely. We're well over 100 now. It's nice. We've got mini boss over here, which I kind of wasn't expecting. This weapon might be quite good for this guy. Um, a blockner. Okay, that's nice and easy. Yeah, this is beaming him pretty much. I like the fact that this thing's got like a lot of ammo as well. Oh, is he is he stunned? What's going on here? He's got like a little stunned face on him, and he didn't make any attempt to attack us. So I'm gonna guess I stunned him, but. I'll be honest, I don't really know how. Although, he didn't give me a chest, so I can't really put him in my good books at the moment. He's a little bit of a so-and-so, but we are on the lookout for NPC number two, should one exist. Which I'm doubtful of right now, but doubtful, but hopeful. Got all the rooms connected here. Muncher, I don't think we have anything for right now. I'm pretty eh, happy-ish with my weapons. Yeah, baby. Junk and grows. Right, shop we can probably play around with a good bit here. Um, so let's, boom, see what we get. We got the Shotcaster's Eye. Uh, active. Um, hold... Hold use when on cooldown, select between four magic ring types. Intriguing idea. We've also got this, the uh oh, that's a that's an S tier weapon. I, I this seems interesting, but I don't know if I have an extra active slot for one. And this is S tier. I kinda have to take it. Uh, I don't actually remember what it does, to be honest. Shoots toxic shots which can sometimes afflict the enemy with a powerful venom. Because we do need a, a boss-killing weapon, so I shall take that and be happy with it. Ah, yes, I've used this thing before. The Venom is very good. Basically, it's a fast-acting poison. The fact that it works on bosses is very nice. It's actually nice that my uh, Greg the Egg is destroying shots here for us. We can kind of stand behind him a little bit. I do believe he eventually cracks, though. He will, he will eventually just die. So I've, I've, I've got to be aware of the fact that Greg the Egg is not eternal, unlike Junkin. Well, they, that's that's a pretty good weapon, that. I like that. Then we got the Hex Eater. Greatly increases resistance to Hex. Re uh, reloading Hex is the owner if Hexed power is increased. I can't remember how Hex works. Power of the weapon is increased with hex. I'm assuming that is. I don't remember exactly how hex works, but I'll try and use the. I'll try and utilize that thing where I can. I think for now we're going to stick with this though, because it's these early flaws. I think it's doing pretty darn well. Do you know what'd be fun? Just as a, just as a nice little addition to the game for for those of us that don't want to go through the hassle of the actual sort of quest of getting to the th uh, the second secret floor. Maybe just have the um, the wooden crest and the, the other crest, like, for sale on this floor. I know that kind of defeats the purpose, because then you could just, like, wait until you beat the whole floor, then buy it, and you get it without having to go through the issues of trying to keep it alive. But I just, I don't get to go to those floors enough, like, because it's inconvenient to go to those floors, and it'd be nice to just have something to kind of cheese it, but it's still, like, it's not cheesing it fully, because it still costs something. Um, yes, please. 25% damage boost for a heart and some curse. I shall take it. I am happy with it. Thank you.
Ah, uh, you. Mm. If you have Junkin, that should, that should not be able to happen, man. It's very rude. Two bags in one room, you tell me. Two bags in one room. Beautiful. I'm feeling that damage boost already here. I mean, the good thing is Junkin is still, like, a good lad as he is. Like, he's doing good damage already, but he could have been so much more. This thing's nearly out of ammo, seems to bend through it pretty quick. It's not too bad. Eh, it's not very quick at all, really. I've just been using it a lot. But I'd like to replenish it, if plausible, soon. Give me a red ammo. There you go, that's what we like to see, baby. Hey, another, another man. Although this guy, unfortunately, unfortunately does not accept the currency that we have in droves. He only accepts other items, which is a cool concept, but for this character, doesn't really help. I need to be trading away money. It seems like he's a guaranteed showing up NPC as well, you know. He seems to be there on every single run. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky, or if they just have a really high chance to show up, or what. Do you know, that little gun fairy sound genuinely gives me a bit of PTSD, because every time you hear that normally, you're like, fuck, where is it? Fuck! <laughs> so now I hear it and I'm like panicking, but it's actually fine. There's the ammo I was looking for, baby. A little bit of the basilisk uh, ammo. A little bit of this ammo. Good. I think I'll fill this thing up fully, you know. This thing's been an absolute god right now. Infinite range. Pretty good damage what I'm about. And then fill this up fully as well, why not? Do we have another chest on this floor? No, we don't. Ah, we should have gone the, the jungle. The jungle has three chests. Junkin would have been living it up large right now if, if it wasn't for my uh, stupidity. Anyways, money-wise, we are doing very well, so we will continue to... Oh, the goddamn thing glitched again. Okay, one second. Hold up, hold up. Give, um... Casing 160, I think we had. Something like that. Right. Nah, it's bugged again. God damn it. There's a... We did get gravity gun out of that, though. There's a, a bug with the, uh, the active item where sometimes it just, like... It just spams all possible uses in one go. It's very annoying. Um, we will take the gravity gun, though, seeing as though it's there. I do quite like the gravity gun. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can pick stuff up and shoot it, including the sign, maybe? No. How about once I kick it? No. Hee hee hee. The gravity gun's amazing. I think we can pick up some low health enemies as well. Okay, you destroyed all my props, my guy. Not okay. Can I can I throw the mushrooms? Ah, that would have been funny, but I understand why not. Nope. Get out of here, you. You're ruining everything. Destroying up my block my boxes and stuff. I will not be having any of this. Give me that barrel. Oh, why'd that guy get... Oh, he got, he got out of the car. I was like, why'd he stop? Some weird shenanigans going on with that guy. But yeah, money's climbing very, very quickly. We're getting good use out of the shop. Um, Back to this thing, I think. My god, I hate this boss in the early stages when he just walks up to you like that. I always get stuck in the corner by him. 
It's not even that easy to get stuck in the corner. It just always happens to me. I'm also stood in the wrong spot here for this, really. Once he goes into the underground mode, I need to be down low. Gun Fairy to help us out, potentially. Let's see how it goes. Nice one. Extra little flawless for us. And Mr. Accretion Jr. Not anything special, but thank you. Gravity Gun and this. Don't know how much use I'll get out of Gravity Gun. I just bought it because it's fun. It's just one of those items that, like, you have to marvel at its creation. The fact that it exists in Gungeon and, like, is a mod is just cool. You have to appreciate that. We can pick up these little skelly bobs, gimme you. I love the way it holds that angle as you rotate it. Upside down skeleton. What the hell? It's it's new new people. Um Do these things die? Maybe they're like minions of this master and I have to kill the master. That seems to be the case, yes. I have to like clear the room. How much ammo have I got in the basilisk left? I'll take this, yeah. Is it basilisk? What is it called? Basilisk. Close enough. Cool room though. Cool room design. With the blood fountains and stuff. I like it. I think the vampire enemy archetype is a, is a pretty cool one. This thing's wrecking. Like, I didn't think it'd be that, that good this deep into the game, and it's still just trucking along like nothing. Like, nobody's been us. Big boy here. We just keep getting ammo for it, too. We keep running out, we keep refilling it. Are they, can I re-pick up these? Nah, I can't. They're like spent on the floor. More ammo? Dude, it just... What's going on? I mean, I, I do have fairly high curse, so... Maybe that's why I'm getting so much ammo. Lobbing tables at things and destroying the projectiles on its way is uh, way too satisfying. Good, good. He is nearly there. Our boy. I think he's too off masterful Junkin Hood. Can you... Get out of here, my guy. You're buffing everything and it's it's causing a ruckus. There you go, he's got his spin attack now. His little spinderella move. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's like the main thing I'm gonna ever use it for is, is tables. Yeah, okay, we're, we're one off maximum junkin. I was right. Now he can blank for us, and if we die, he will revive us. But he will perish himself. We do not want him to perish himself. But blanking for us is uh, something I can definitely get behind. The golden casing there. Not that we need it, but thank you. Thank you. Where art thou, Shaw? Probably not this way, but I want to go for my chest. Right. 
Grab all these fellas. Is that it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's a thingy there, but it's electrified. I, I don't know if I'm immune to electricity or not, and I don't want to test, it out. test that out right now. I don't know why the, why the water's electrified, actually. This weapon must be electrifying it. Um... As much as this thing isn't really a room clearer. There you go. This shotgun's just so good for pushing stuff off ledges. Honestly, I can use it for that as well. I can poison an enemy and then get back to it sort of thing with the shotgun. It's actually not a bad idea. Thank you, Junkin. Yeah, boy. I was like, do I do I go for it? Do I destroy it? Why, yes, I do. Why, yes, I do. Good, good. Here's our shop as well. We've got... Okay, 279 I have. Okay, it did work this time. Light gun? No, thank you. That's not light gun. That's sponsored. Um, Semi-automatic. Costs a casing to fire. Spawns more casings on hit. Sword VPN is one of the fucking synergies. Yeah, why not? That sounds interesting. It's a melee weapon, which I kind of wasn't expecting. I, like, I, I know that sounds stupid, considering it's literally a fucking sword, but I was expecting it to, like, fire a projectile of swords or something. Does it destroy shots? It very much does destroy shots. Okay. Right, let's try and be cautious about this. We got that bad boy too. Um, we have to take ammo on this. It's just too good not to. Got gamma ray on the payroll as well. But this thing's kind of interesting. Being able to spawn more money via it. Uh, I thought there was an NPC shop then. I was excited. I was so excited. But it wasn't. Right, we'll see what we can get from the shop on this floor as well, because hopefully there's some tasty stuff. We probably don't want to buy anything more with Curse, though. I think our Curse has reached levels of uh, slight critical mass now. I'm definitely going to keep that sword as my secondary so that I can um, I can keep it sort of back, like ready for destroying shots that are coming my way. It's a little bit difficult to use it reactionarily, but I'll give it a go sort of thing. I'll use it when I can. I'll be using this thing primarily because it's carried us this far. I mean, it's goddamn amazing. Oh, we got the case of funny, I think. But well, that we do, that we do. Slowing us down when we're on top of killed enemies. Creep. Hello, hexing rounds. I mean, that could be really fun with the hexing gun. Um, increased damage, but gives you thorns, but lose health each floor. Less money, more power. I mean, unfortunately, all of those don't really work for what we're doing right now. I will definitely take ghost bullets. And I think... Oh, wait. This doesn't re-roll. That's, that's a real shame. It also took away all my money. Give casing 60. We did the glitch again. Um, The laser welder? I don't remember how good the laser welder is. Anyhow, let's keep this moving. Not through there for now, because that scares me. Ooh, I kind of didn't even think about the fact that I've just given this thing piercing, and I've given Junkin piercing too. It's rather nice.
rather nice indeed. I don't know how much damage this thing actually does to an enemy, you know. I need to figure that out at some point. Maybe this room isn't the best idea for that, though. Man, it's pretty good. I think its main benefit, obviously, is not really damage, though. It's more so the creating money sort of scenario. lot going on right now. That was kind of crazy. Got to be careful to slow down here. Good, good. This is, this is beautiful, this thing. Like, look how much... It's just, it's just dominating rooms. We've also got a... Uh, ammo box in the um, in the shop as well if we need it. Got to remember that. There is some uh, uh, thingy over there, but I'm not going to risk that for now. Probably get a few more rooms out of the ammo we currently have. Honestly, Junkin's doing a great job as well. I keep forgetting about how much damage he does at this level. Extra armor, some HP, which we don't currently need. We can actually open chests now if we want. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That fucking shattered this as well. Are you kidding me? Vector 2. Bullets return to player after a while. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Do you know what's the most annoying thing about that? Up until that, that was a no-hit run. I hadn't been hit even once up until that happened. Not a single goddamn time. I was staying very quiet about it because I know that the moment I spoke about it or thunk about it, thunk, thought about it too much, it would be over. I knew that, so I was like, no, no, no. I can't make reference to it. Otherwise, it's all it'll all come crashing down. What happens... This bullshit. I'm so bad with mimics, man. So bad with mimics. It's like, the thing is as well, literally the first chest of the entire run that I didn't shoot on sight. Evil game. I mean, I had high curves. I should have known it was coming, but still, just, it just annoys me. <laughs> I'm liking this weapon right now. Wait, the bullets that come back to me, do they give me ammo back? Because with piercing, this could be real good. They do indeed give me ammo back. So as long as they don't hit a wall, this, this thing's got a lot of ammo capacity for us. Greg the Egg's gonna die in this room, isn't he? Nope, he's okay. And there you go, I got hit by something else there. That's our first official hit. To be fair, kinda hard when there's a bunch of projectiles coming directly at you that you want to come directly at you, so to discern them a little bit. Also, this thing... This thing's damage is just nothing compared to our laser beam thingy. That laser beam thingy is so much better than this. I'm I'm saddened by the atrocities that this this has committed against me. Went from no hits to like five hits in one fucking room. That's where you gotta put that really. Dude, I was doing so well. <laughs> I need to chill out, my guy. Chill the F out.
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Junkin take care of this one, I think. And Pot Fairy, by extension. Because this is gross. <laughs> they did it eventually. They got there. Man. I, I am curious if I'm just like so frustrated that I'm playing way worse or if I would have got hit on these rooms anyways. I need this back. It's too good to, to, to let up, man. It's too good to let up. Yeah, good old junk and run. Who'd have thought? Right. Last chest of the run. Ring of triggers. Unfortunately, I don't think we can use that with our active, because I don't think our active works outside of shops. No, it doesn't. Bit of a shame. Right. I'm hoping our little returner ammo gun will be better against the boss because it passes through him twice. And it's like no, nothing's going to miss. So we'll see. It's a cool weapon though. Weird the shot speed's like different on each shot though. Not quite sure what that's about. I'm definitely just playing like trash now because I'm annoyed. Oh god, one second. I got a really itchy nose. Worst timing. Also, this weapon is not doing very well. Um, don't know how well this is doing either, to be honest. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Look at this. This is just... It's turned into a right pathetic run. <laughs> it was all going so well. I was playing so well. Oh my god. My little junk buddy, come on. You can help us out. Oh! Um, Greg the Egg dropped and gave us turkey. I mean, having Greg the Egg having a turkey inside of it is, is kind of fitting. The turkeys lay eggs. It's a bird, so I'd assume it does. That's a point. I mean, I'm almost like I'm 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 like 100% sure they do lay eggs, right? But like, why do you never get turkey eggs? Is there a reason for that? I'm gonna have to Google this like right now. Why? Yeah, like a turkey eggs just really fucking disgusting. I've never heard of turkey eggs before. Turkey eggs. Can you eat turkey eggs? Tur just like ch chickens, turkeys lay eggs, but when it comes to grocery stores, turkey eggs are um, absent. Although the first thought might be that they aren't edible, the lack of these eggs in markets is due to a combination of other factors. If you're interested in trying turkey eggs, which are similar in taste to chicken eggs, there's, there are ways to purchase them. Ha ha! So, higher cost of production. Uh, ba basically, they're just they're just more expensive, so we don't use them because chickens are much much cheaper and they're about the same. But yeah, I was just like they definitely lay eggs. So why have I never seen them in a supermarket before? But I guess that makes sense. Why am I firing at this guy right now? What am I doing? I just got a 50 banger from this guy. Oh god, that did like no damage whatsoever. <laughs> Come on, Junk, you need to step it up a little bit here. Step, step, step it up. Really, that reload had to take a million years, did it? Oh my god, really? A third phase? 
abysmal. I have to just go back to the old classic, the lightning rod. Right, there you go. After that quite abysmal last floor, after just perfection the entire way through, I think we're going to leave it off at the end of this floor. A barter has been unlocked for us. Good, good. Yeah, we're going to leave leave it off at the end of this floor here. And probably follow up with this character again in a, in a future episode soon, because I do love him. He is gorgeous. But anyways, my little piggy boy. Moonwalk back up that staircase. And we will end off our run as it stands right here. Come on now. Grab that gun. Stop messing around. Okay, there you go. It just took forever for some reason. But there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.